National Weather Service confirmed an EF1 tornado tore through parts of three area counties. While power has been restored, the cleanup process is just getting started. First alert, meteorologist Davis Wells was in studio covering these storms Sunday night, but ventured into the community today to see their first-hand damage it caused. In our continuing coverage at 6. Landscaping companies could be found traveling in packs as many throughout the region continue the cleanup process. Tree limbs snapped like twigs, siding and roofing torn away, and dirt thrown about the county telling the story that those in northern Warren County experienced. Area resident Bill Haven was helping family members with the cleanup and assessing the property as they were out of town on vacation. After the storm, the damage assessment is what is critical, you know, to see how bad your house is. Uh, a lot of things on the house, you have roof damage, things that you sometimes you can't see. Haven himself has lived through three tornadoes, two of which completely destroyed his home. As his family's property was thankfully not destroyed, repairs still need to be made. Thanks to technology, his family was able to see just the damage left behind. You know, you can find out within a couple of minutes if anything has happened, even here. We, they got ring cameras and that's how they knew their house was tore up. And the, but then they lost electricity so they didn't have any ring cameras for a couple of days. I asked Haven what tips he had for others in the event another storm system were to move into the area. His response couldn't be more clear. You got to keep yourself safe. You know, you have to take precautions. You listen to the radio, listen to the Facebook and all the messages, all the social media out there. Let's everybody know well ahead of time. Reporting in Warren County, Davis Wells, WBKO News. With the tornado that impacted northern Warren County, the National Weather Service determined it was part of an EF1 tornado with winds up to 110 miles per hour on the ground for more than 30 minutes and reached up to nearly one mile wide at its widest point.